Mary Oaks is back with us today. Happy holidays to thank you. Thank you. Glad well, you could be you. with us. What have you got for us? Well, I have got a munchie for you today that my family enjoys. We've got all the ball games coming up and cold weather and everybody likes to sort of snuggle around the fire and yeah. watch the game. So this is a wonderful little snack um, for you to fix. It's easy. It's so simple you're not going to believe it. Is it one of those addictive kinds? Yes, <laughs> yes. It's, it's great. It's wonderful. Just sit there and by the time the right. game's over they're all gone. That's right. I have a hard time keeping them. But it's called Cracker Party Mix and it's different from the other party mixes in that you use Oysterette crackers. Now, I'm going to give you the ingredients, and I'm going to show you just exactly how simple it is. Okay. I've already got two packages, two boxes of Oysterette crackers in my bowl. Oysterette. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any, the little round cracker that you use with oyster stew. And they're delicious. And they are very good. Okay. The first thing we're going to do is sprinkle some spices on. Okay. All right. Let's use two packages of ranch dressing mix. I'll just tear the top off of this and we'll sprinkle them right on the crackers. By the way, did you have a nice Thanksgiving? Yes, I did. Eat I had turkey and dressing. And all that wonderful stuff. And my daughter cooked for me. It was so nice. Usually I'm on the cooking <laughs> end. And my kids are big enough now where they're returning the favor and it's wonderful. Yeah. But oh, she had nice. a turkey breast spinach and all sorts mm. of good stuff, and it's sliced, and your stuffing was in the center of the breast, and it was really beautiful. Takes that really from her mother, then. Well, I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. Okay, now we've got the dress, the ranch dressing mix on here. Let's see. We're going to put some onion powder next, and we're going to put. Let me look at this. I have made it so much and doubled it so much. <laughs> we're going to use a half a teaspoon. I'm just going to do one recipe today. From what I have seen so far, this is going to be a little spicy. Yes. Right? It is. It's going to be spicy. It's not hot. It's just no. spicy, but it's mm -hmm. very good. All right, next we're going to use lemon pepper. And lemon pepper is great for people who have to cut down on their salt intake. It gives you a nice, nice flavor. In fact, I'm going to add just a little bit. So you can use lemon pepper in other things? Yes, for cooking? yes, you okay. can. And I use the onion powder rather than onion salt. And there again, that cuts down on your salt. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're going to use one teaspoon of dill weed, and I have absolutely fallen in love with dill weed. It dill is, weed? It is wonderful in dips and soups, and on the fish, if you remember, the first thing I did for you all, we used dill weed yes. in, in the baked fish, fish yes. and uh, the it fillets. is fillets. Yes, it's very good. Okay. One other thing about the pepper, uh, could you use that, say, in replacement of salt? Yes. You could. This is what the doctors tell you to do, to get seasoned pepper and use instead of salt. Because when you don't have any salt, your food is so bland, and it makes it very difficult for people to eat it. They just don't want it when it has nothing. Okay. All right, now here's the kicker. What we're going to do now, is we're going to pour one cup of vegetable oil overall. All and right. you're going to say, oh, that's greasy. But it is not. This is going to air dry. We're going to mm. stir it and it's going to absorb that. Mix it up. And you, you leave this in a large bowl open for two hours and you just stir and stir about every 15 minutes, run back in the kitchen and stir it until it absorbs all of this. And the oil helps your, your spices stick to the crackers so that they all really get this nice little spicy mm -hmm. um, flavor to it. Now you can use garlic powder. I have some friends who are allergic to garlic, so I just automatically put onion powder in. And one thing, I'll tell you, these are great, but if you're going out on a date and are going to watch a ball game, make sure you both eat some, you know? It's just like yes. smoking, you know, if one smokes, it's bad. If you both smoke, it just sort of gets lost so in the shuffle. So you'll be okay if both of you snack that's on That's right, it. that's right. And okay. I happen to have some ready here. As always. In our little tin, and they are so good. Would you like to try them? Oh, I'd love to, Mary. They are so good. In fact, I'm going to try one with you. Mm, I'm glad you did. Mm. Now we'll both have great breath. That's right. I won't knock you down this morning. <laughs> oh, they are good. But they're very, very good. They're good um, with a mm. hot drink or with a cold drink. Perfect um, for the Super Bowl and all the other football oh, games. Oh, yes. That's just great. Coming up. Yeah, really good. Now, we have your address, Mary. We want to show okay. this. People can write to Mary, ask her for this recipe, Cracker Party Mix. She'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. And by the way, Mary, have you been getting any letters? Yes, I have. In fact, I got a very interesting letter from 
one of your viewers in Havelock asking me about cornbread and she's uh, married to a serviceman and she's from Indiana and so she's not familiar with our cornbread and she was having trouble with it so I gave her some hints and um, most people don't stop to think that there are two kinds of cornbread. There's the fried kind that you just use um, your cornmeal and egg if you want it in water and then there's a baking kind that you put baking powder in that rises and she would I think was using the frying cornbread bread and trying to bake it and of course it did not rise and because she didn't have any baking powder in it so I hope I helped her I and answered her letter and I loved getting her letter it's really nice to hear from everybody yeah. but all of these recipes that I'm giving you now are in my cookbook and uh, as as usual it's 10.95 and if you all would like to have a copy of this beautiful little thing I'd be delighted to send you one. And there's the address, Mary's Incredible Edibles. And I know you're working on other cookbooks as well. Yes, I am. Yes, so, I am. Will you tell us about those next time you're yes, here? Yes, I've got some great recipes. Okay, sounds good, Mary. Thank you for being with Thank us. Thank you. It was my pleasure. Mary Elks, stay tuned. We'll be back in just a moment.